Use of ampicillin capsules. Ampicillin is an antibiotic medication that is used to treat bacterial infections. Here are some of the common uses of ampicillin. Respiratory infections. Ampicillin can be used to treat respiratory tract infections, such as pneumonia, bronchitis, and sinusitis. Urinary tract infections. Ampicillin can be used to treat urinary tract infections, such as cystitis and pyelonephritis. Gastrointestinal infections. Ampicillin can be used to treat gastrointestinal tract infections, such as gastroenteritis and bacterial enteritis. Skin and soft tissue infections. Ampicillin can be used to treat skin and soft tissue infections, such as cellulitis and impetigo. It's important to note that ampicillin is only effective against bacterial infections and should not be used to treat viral infections, such as the common cold or flu. Additionally, ampicillin should only be used as prescribed by a healthcare provider, as it can have potential side effects and interactions with other medications. Dosage of ampicillin capsules. The dosage of ampicillin capsules will depend on several factors, including the condition being treated, the patient's age and weight, and the severity of the infection. The dosage instructions provided below are for general information purposes only and should not be used as a substitute for medical advice from a healthcare professional. It's important to follow the specific dosage instructions provided by your doctor. For adults, the usual dose of ampicillin for most infections is 250 mg to 500 mg, taken orally every 6 hours. For more severe infections, the dosage may be increased to 1 gram taken orally every 6 hours. For children, the dosage of ampicillin will depend on the child's age and weight. The usual dose for children is 100 mg per kilogram per day divided into 4 to 6 equal doses. It's important to complete the full course of ampicillin treatment as prescribed by your healthcare provider, even if you start feeling better before the medication is finished. Skipping doses or stopping treatment early may lead to antibiotic resistance or the infection returning. It's also important to take ampicillin with a full glass of water on an empty stomach at least 30 minutes before or 2 hours after a meal, to ensure optimal absorption. Mechanism of Action of Ampicillin Capsules Ampicillin is a beta-lactam antibiotic that works by inhibiting the synthesis of bacterial cell walls. The bacterial cell wall provides structural support and protection for the bacteria, and inhibiting its synthesis causes the bacteria to become more susceptible to damage and eventually die. Ampicillin works by binding to and inhibiting the action of a specific enzyme called transpeptidase, also known as penicillin binding protein. Transpeptidase is responsible for cross-linking the peptidoglycan chains that make up the bacterial cell wall, which provides the wall with its strength and rigidity. By inhibiting the action of transpeptidase, ampicillin prevents the cross-linking of the peptidoglycan chains which weakens the cell wall and makes it more susceptible to damage and lysis. Ampicillin is effective against a wide range of gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria, including Streptococcus pneumoniae, Haemophilus influenza, Escherichia coli, and Salmonella. However, it's important to note that some bacteria have developed resistance to ampicillin and other beta-lactam antibiotics, which can limit their effectiveness. In such cases, alternative antibiotics may be needed for treatment. Side effects of ampicillin capsules. Like all medications, ampicillin capsules can cause side effects. Some of the common side effects include nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, stomach pain and cramps, skin rash and itching, headache, vaginal itching or discharge in women, yeast infections, allergic reactions, including hives and difficulty breathing, blood disorders, such as anemia or leukopenia. Less common but more serious side effects of ampicillin can include severe skin reactions, such as Stevens-Johnson syndrome and toxic epidermal acrolysis. 
severe allergic reactions, such as anaphylaxis. Pseudomembranous colitis, a severe inflammation of the colon caused by the overgrowth of Clostridium difficile bacteria. If you experience any of these serious side effects, seek medical attention immediately. It's also important to notify your doctor if you experience any other unusual symptoms or side effects while taking ampicillin capsules. Important advices for taking ampicillin capsules. Here are some important pieces of advice to follow when taking ampicillin capsules. Take as prescribed. Always take ampicillin capsules exactly as prescribed by your healthcare provider. Do not take more or less than the recommended dose and do not stop taking the medication before the prescribed duration, even if you feel better. Take on an empty stomach. Take ampicillin capsules on an empty stomach at least 30 minutes before or two hours after a meal to ensure optimal absorption. Drink plenty of fluids. To help prevent dehydration and reduce the risk of kidney problems, drink plenty of fluids while taking ampicillin capsules. Inform your doctor of any allergies. Inform your healthcare provider if you are allergic to any antibiotics or have any other allergies. Inform your doctor of any medical conditions. Inform your healthcare provider if you have any medical conditions, especially kidney disease or a history of gastrointestinal problems. Use caution while driving or operating machinery. Ampicillin capsules can cause dizziness and drowsiness, so use caution when driving or operating machinery until you know how the medication affects you. Finish the full course. Finish the full course of ampicillin capsules even if you start feeling better, as stopping the medication early may lead to antibiotic resistance or the infection returning. Store correctly. Store ampicillin capsules at room temperature, away from moisture and heat. Remember, the above advice is not comprehensive, and it's important to follow the specific instructions provided by your healthcare provider. If you have any questions or concerns about taking ampicillin capsules, speak with your healthcare provider.